want to create an assembly. And the first part that I'll bring into the assembly will be the wood part. And then the next part that I'll bring in will be the metal part. So I'll go insert components. And I want to insert the metal part. Now notice when you bring in your base feature, your very first feature in an assembly, um, you need to choose a part that most of your other parts will be related to. This first part that you bring in will automatically be anchored to the reference planes of the assembly. So if I come over here and I look at the reference planes of my part, you'll notice that they are coincident with the reference planes of the assembly. With subsequent parts that you bring in, you will have to assign relationships. Okay, so I'm going to go to this part that I just brought in and I'm going to show this sketch. Whoops, it was already shown. I just hit it. <laughs> so I'll show this. So there's that sketch. That gives me an axis to work with. And I'm going to go up to this part. Go into the revolve cut. And I want to show that sketch. Okay. So now I'm going to select these two axes of revolution and I'm going to mate them and SolidWorks anticipates that you want those to be collinear so that relationship is established and I should not have hit escape I should have hit accept so I'll control select those two entities again and mate and accept that mate now this part will still move up and down this axis and it will of course spin. So we need to eliminate some degrees of freedom there. I could use this plane for a relationship or I could use this plane. So let's try to use this face in this face and let's put a mate relationship and see what kind of options we have here. So I have the correct two and I don't want them to be coincident I want them to be parallel and I would like to set their distance at one quarter inch. And that's exactly what I wanted so I will check that now the only degree of freedom that is left is rotation and we can lock that rotation by choosing reference planes of this part. For example, we could choose this front reference plane and the front reference plane of the assembly and coincident those. Um, I'm just going to leave that degree of freedom there. Now for the next Part, we'll bring in another component we want to bring in and notice you can browse here to other folders I'm going to add in the eraser I'll select the outer surface of the eraser and one of these circular features of the metal part and I'll mate that that will perform an axial align so the axis of the eraser and the axis of this cylindrical feature uh, will be collinear and again I hit escape instead of accept so I'll have to do that again so I'll hit accept on that and now notice it still has this degree of freedom so this time I want to mate this surface to this surface so I'll control select those and I was already inside mate so it moves it in there and I'll accept and escape and fit 
and we don't want to see these sketches so I'll go into that and hide the sketch to make our model look nicer and we also have a sketch that's shown here turn that off and I'll collapse these items in the tree and that concludes our video on creating simple protrusions, pattern features, thin walls, and assemblies.